fun. The Windy City is also known for its varied and talented music scene, having produced such diverse and gifted musicians as Buddy Guy, Liz Fair, and the Smashing Pumpkins. Local artists are constantly playing the club circuit, hoping to become the next big thing. Vivian Panu got the scoop behind a relatively new Chicago act, the Darren Edwards Project, when they played at the Cubby Bear. Hey everyone, I'm at the Cubby Bear and boy do I have a treat for you. One of Chicagoland's greatest musical treasures, the Darren Edwards Project. I was able to get the inside scoop as to what makes their band work. Here we go. of the band, Mike's on drums, Don's the lead guitarist, Bob is on keyboards and violin, Janet is for background vocals, and Hank is on bass guitar. The one-year-old Darren Edwards project may have a tough look and sound, but the making of this dynamite rock band is actually a fuzzy story about big brother Darren, little brother Mike, and their father whose passion for music was naturally passed down to his sons. My dad bought us our first instruments, bought there and uh, an acoustic guitar and bought me uh, the, my first real set of drums. Our first gig was the talent show over at uh, his junior high school. We always kind of had uh, uh, this dream that this is what we were going to do, you know, and it, it came and it went and it came and it went and it came and it went, you know, and uh, uh, there was a period of time there where Mike had called me on and off for a year and uh, said, come on, man, you know, we just got to get the band going. But I was in the beginning of raising my family, you know, so um, through all that stuff, it, it, it just kind of started to escalate. God has blessed me for time. For wife Atha and uh, Darren's wife Linda. Actually, if it wasn't for those two, um, this pro this project wouldn't exist either. Would um, that's that's for sure. And I'd have to say I'd have to include my ex-wife in that too. I mean, um, I'm divorced. I see my children on the weekends, and uh, um, you know, she could definitely have been in a position to make my life miserable. My present wife, who's, who's around this 24 hours a day, is. Uh, the, you know, the goddess of all women. It's a full-time job yeah. for, for our wives and the family Absolutely. both. And they don't uh, get much of the time. <laughs> no, and they don't get the credit that they, they deserve either. Lyrics and music are all written by Darren Edwards, but oftentimes changed by the other band members. Things that, that, that I write about and um, lyrically or musically or the energy that, that might be within a song um, is really stems from things that Mike and I have gone through in our lives together. Two people living one life and it, that's really where it all comes from. We argue about a lot. He's very tough on me and I'm very tough on him and um, I'm still the big brother so that's just the way it goes, you know. It keeps things interesting. It does. And, uh, <laughs> it it, it, it it there's never a dull moment in the band, that's for sure. It's just really intense. I mean, somebody gets an idea, and it, by the time it gets around the room, it's been, you know, crafted into this uh, part of the song that, uh, you know, you wonder how the song got along without it by the time you're done with it. Children's inspired by. Uh, I lived in an apartment complex in Schaumburg, and it was very uh, ethnically mixed and racially mixed. And uh, I used to take my kids to the pool all the time, and the kids would always play. The parents never spoke to each other. What do I like about it the most? Oh yeah. Uh, it's sincere, and uh, just the feel of the music itself. The words are great. What's not to like about it? The 
musicians are good caliber musicians and it forces me to play better every time we get together because we're all very critical too. I've been trying for a few weeks to fill in the gaps a little bit here and there and uh, add, some, add some higher end, but the men's voices aren't quite as nice. Now we have such a great band, you know, supporting what it is that we're doing. Um, having those great people around you and having great lives helps bring, you know, us and our ideas a lot closer together, you know. Thanks, Vivian, and if you'd like to sound off to us, just drop us a line at Absolute Artistry, WYCC-TV, 7500 South Pulaski, Chicago, Illinois, 60652. Well, that'll do it for this week, but be sure to join us again next week right here for all the best from Chicago's arts and entertainment scene, only on Chicago's premier arts and entertainment series, Absolute Artistry. Good night.